Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I offer all things God, connection, love, life, wellness, and life advice. And usually I start my videos off with an affirmation. Oh, my shirt is weird. Usually I start my videos off with an affirmation, but today we're just going to jump right in. So the one thing I know that is truer than truer than true is that prayer is key. You want somebody out of your life? You want something to be resolved? You want to be blessed with something? You want a miracle to happen? Pray, because prayer is our divine connection and communication with God. I think that what I've learned most over the years is that God knows my feelings. God knows me more than anybody else because I am his creation. And nothing is too small or too petty or impossible for God to make you feel better about. I think um, I've always been a spiritually elevated person and I was not raised Christian. I found Christianity and Jesus on my own and I definitely swayed, um, you know, just like not really, I definitely swayed not <clears throat> committing to God and being like, okay, God is the first point, God is first, um, and made other things first, or I just went like crazy rule book Christian and just like went overboard and going to church every Sunday and ended up losing the natural organic communication I have with life, spirit, and God. So, but through all those trials and tribulations, because it's a journey and there's no such thing as perfect, there's only genuine and authentic. So through my journey of getting to this place of a genuine and authentic relationship with God and Christ is prayer. Because God, nothing is new to God. You think that you're the first person to ever ask for a husband that loves Jesus? You think you're the first person to ever ask for children? You think you're the first person to ever want to go to space? You're not. Your prayers are not these radical ideas. They may be radical to the people, people, humans around you, but nothing is new to God and nothing is impossible for God. So what I'm understanding is that bring everything to God. You know, just be like, yo, like God, I feel like crap after taking this class. Like help me with it. What Help me understand my feelings. And what I like to do is I like to just get quiet. Sometimes in meditation, sometimes just getting quiet. After you pray a prayer, I recommend getting quiet because in the stillness is when you can hear the voice and the voice guides you and leads you and never steers you wrong, you know? Um, and I'm just learning to communicate with God more and first. Um, really just because... I've just been trying to figure out like, okay, how can I balance it, right? How can I balance glorifying God, but still like being me? Because again, I am not your perfect Christian. And I think there was a long, for a long time, people love to say they're not religious, they're spiritual. Well, I'm not religious because I've been there, I've done that and it sucks tremendously and yes i'm spiritual but that doesn't mean i can't love christ because in my previous video i talked about how jesus is like the big brother that everyone should um want to be like right like christ is like yo i'm on a purpose yo i'm not playing around like i have to do these things on this earth okay you want to crucify me okay sis go ahead because i'm rising back up i'm coming back so, like, we should all want to be so focused on our purpose and in such deep communication with God, right? But it's tough because this world is crazy and this world is insane. But we have all the tools that we need to be able to walk on this earth as souls in these human bodies. We have the living word we have prayer we have meditation we have everything that we need we have therapists we have crystals we have everything we need to be able to make this human experience 
feel good while also being purposeful. So something I like to do because I can be a little bit scatterbrained is I like to write down my prayer points. So I've prayed to God and asked God to uh, make me get in the habit of prayer. And because God keeps his promises and God hears you, every day I wake up and I'm like, um, I'm not gonna check my phone this morning. I'm, and I don't wanna meditate, I kinda just wanna pray. And you will, that's the great thing about God is that God is always with you. God lives within you, as you, through you. So anything you ask, God will do it. And before you know it, you doing the thing and you got the thing that God, like God, that you are praying to God for. So now I'm finding myself waking up and praying. And sometimes I can be a little scatterbrained, so I like to write down prayer points. I like to write down prayer points. And I write down everything because, again, over the years, I've just realized nothing is too small for God. So I got a little thing in my neck and in my lower back and in my left foot. Please believe that is a prayer point. And then I ask God to, like, help me not have these pains because I'm only 29. Like, I have so much more to do and I don't got no kids yet. So I, my lower back can't be hurting, Jesus. My lower back can't be hurting. So I write down prayer points so that I don't get scatterbrained. And depending on the severity of the prayer, I like to give thanks first. Thank you, God, for waking me up. Thank you, God, for being, loving me, supporting me, guiding me. Thank you, God. And nothing is too, you got to remember, God loves you. Life is here for you. You are here to live life. So you can't be scared to be like, God, please bless me with one day winning an Oscar. Ask. If it's in your, if it's in his will and if it's for you, ask. Because at the end of this life, you want to know that you did everything, received everything, and that you could possibly do and receive in a loving way. Something I also like is my daily devotional. Uh, can you guys see? Okay, my daily devotional is called Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Enjoying peace in his presence. Devotions for every day of the year. Um, this is my second devotional. I love this. I don't know how she know everything, but every single day hits me on the head. And every single day, you know what it says in here? It says, lean into me. Guide me. Or let me guide you. Let me be your rest. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And all God wants is for you to be able to be peaceful and purposeful and nothing more and nothing less. The one thing I don't like about this devotional is I'm not crazy about the different Bible verses, scriptures that they correlate with the, the uh, oh my God, what's it called? With the devotional of the day. Sometimes I feel like, okay, this is, this kind of takes me out of it, you know, but Nonetheless, this is a really, really good devotional, so I would recommend this. Um, highlighting, right? Highlights, right, like here. So there was one point when I was living in Los Angeles that I, there was one point I was living in Los Angeles and I was in, I love to read. I'm an avid reader. I love to read books on self-help spirituality and what better book than Le Bible? So. At one point, I was reading. I was reading all the New Testament. I was reading Old Testament. I was highlighting. I was Googling things. Like, I was really in, in, in the word, dissecting the word, figuring out the Latin meaning for words. That's probably one of my favorite things, is figuring out the Latin meaning behind words. And that was one thing I liked about going to church, was learning, diff like, learning the word. Like, the word sin means like to miss it's an it's an art it's derived from an archery term meaning arrows and bows and sin means to miss the mark so god is the mark so when you sin you are missing god and it's like when you break down the word sin like that instead of saying sin is something bad i think that you allow people to not feel so much shame and 
it lets people know, okay, I missed the mark uh, this time, but I won't miss the mark again. You know, so that's what I really, really liked about learning. When I learned the word is the, the, the meanings of the word. So going back, so what I like to do is I like to highlight. I like to write what a, uh, the word means to me. Oh, see, my Bible ripped. I like to write down what it means to me. I like to highlight. I like to, like make it look like a coloring book like really get into it really get into understanding what things mean and and one trick or hack that i learned was to ask the holy spirit okay holy spirit i don't really understand what this means like help me to understand what it means like the other day i was in the car and what keeps coming up for me is greater is he who is within me than he who is in the world i think that i spent a lot of time letting people, bad influences, dark influences take over and lead me. Um, but there was always that small thing that said, no, you're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be going here. It's like, and what's so amazing is that no matter where I find myself in life, I always come back to Jesus. I always come back to the Bible. Always. It never fails. So I said in my previous video, in this lifetime, I am meant to be here reading the word, loving Jesus, and being all about the Holy Spirit. Maybe last lifetime, I was a, um, I was into atheism. I don't know, but all I know is that what works for me, this, every single time I need, I, I, I feel like I stray every single time I come back to the room about greater is he who is within me than he who is in the world. And I know that God gave me that scripture because like I was saying, like, I've let the world influence me more than I have God and life and 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 yeah. So when I break it down, greater is he. So like let it be like obvious, greater. It's not it's not the word could have been anything. The word could have been prettier is he who's within me. The word could have been Uglier is he who is within me. It doesn't matter what the word is, but if you look at it for face value, greater is he who is in me, right? Jesus is in me. The spirit of the living God is in me. I am, it is here, it's spirit, soul, right here, in here. Greater is he who is within me than, than he who is in the world. Meaning that there is something in the world. Meaning that there is evilness and the enemy in the world we can sit here and act like you know everything is all honky dory but this is a spiritual playground of good and bad and that's just how it has to be right you don't have to be scared but you just gotta know know what's real so greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world there's something greater that is within me. It's greater than what is in the world. There is something in the world, but what is in me, it's greater than that. So that's how I like to read the Bible. When I'm really in it, like I will take it word by word, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, word for word, slowly. Don't be shy with your creator. And as I speak to you, I speak to myself, you know, and God knows your feelings. God knows your feeling. God is a God of vastness and God is a God of depth. So if God is, knows my feelings, God knows your, your feelings and God knows that person's feelings in South Africa and God knows that person's feelings in Sweden simultaneously all at the same time. Remember, God is not a human. God is huge, vast, eternal. We cannot comprehend all that God is. So don't feel like any, don't feel like you're bothering God. That's so dumb. Don't feel like you're, God is not your parents, right? God is not a human being. God is like here for you. So like communicate with God and communicate with God honestly and cry and laugh and curse and who cares, right? Like just communicate with God Get the answers that you need. Get the healing that you need. Let him guide you to people. Let him guide you to resources. Let him guide you to opportunities. Because if you don't communicate with God, you're going to find yourself in relationships and situations and jobs that you were never designed for, that you were better than. But you let the world and the energy and frequency of the world, the fallen world, 
lead you and deceive you. And as I say this to you, I'm saying this to myself. That's what's been coming up for me. So anyway, I, I, I hope that you're taking away something from this video. I hope it's not too heavy for you. Some people don't know how to pray, right? If you don't know how to pray, you literally just say, God, I don't know how to pray, show me. And that is it. And if you don't know how to read the Bible, start with Matthew, the book of Matthew, and the New Testament and start there. Start with where Jesus was an adult. Start there and then work your way back. And it's okay. It's okay to glorify God in public. I think a lot of us are scared to do that. And I, I can understand that. This world has made it seem like being Christian is like the worst thing ever. No, being a bad person is the worst thing ever. Who you decide to follow and what you decide to love, it's not bad. Some things are for some people and some things just aren't you know but anyway i hope this video was not all over the place maybe i should have wrote down points for this video thank you guys so much for tuning in please feel free to follow me on instagram at beanie tv message me comments all that good stuff i love communicating with you guys but don't take advantage of me thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys next video